get them right back on there. Turn it back on there and get some vibrancy going in there. Look at that. It's totally, totally gone there. Let's get it back in. see very much in here so I'm just gonna think well we know that the hairs are coming this way so I'm just gonna put them in coming through there, don't we? Like that. A lot of people use the sticks for really white bits like this because you do get really nice um, just hints of them in the in the end really gives you a lovely white. Really nice. Even with this paper though, you've got to be careful not to put too much pastel on that. Putting quite a bit on here. Try and get that lovely white back. back in here. It's fine if you just put little bits on the edge, it really helps them stand out nicely. And just do them over with the uh, colour shaper. I wouldn't advise blending stomp. Because see what just happened there. You know, we did. We do need a bit of coverage underneath, so we did need it. Uh, but it's, uh, it could be worrying if you did that and you, you didn't know that you could get your white back. Thing on, on. It's not good. Right, so 
Let me get the gray. So, yeah, just soften it up with your finger. At least it doesn't take all the white bits off. Just gives it softness, but, you know, you haven't lost all your white bits. And then you can still do your fluffy edges there, like that. Very light touch. This intense white is like a, a holy grail of pastel drawers. You know, just strive to get that. Very hard to get. Very hard. You just have to draw what you see, and everything. 
anything else that you put around those really white bits will make it look really white. That's what happens. Don't keep trying. I know it's tempting, but don't keep trying to make it really white because you put too much pastel on and then it will just all fall off. That's what happens. It just falls off the pa paper. Not so much on this paper, but it does. Just make sure you've got all your lines correct, all your angles. Concentrate on that. There. Okay, so that's okay for now. You can just put some blue in and then I think we should probably finish for today anyway. Let's see. Very soft lines. Need a bit more blue in there. the pink pink. Over that 
try because although it's grey, we don't want it looking drab. Let's put these in, I think we can put those in now. Let's be random with those. I'm going to put white over these as well. And there's some clumps in here. very fine. I've got quite a, you know, it's not fine. Don't need a really sharp point for this. Just need a soft touch and, you know, just be loose with it. As soon as you start to try and make it neat, um, it, look, it won't look right. It just look false. These, this white's going over the the black we put on. It's, it's looking okay, actually, you know. It's looking fine. Got another white line coming through there. Now this is coming up here. Flex, really, isn't it? It's just flex. And coming down. Be very random with these bits. Just flicking them. coming from his arm. needs to be a bit bluey, I think. 
try that. Just try to do this grey and then put all the white hairs over it, it will look very drab. It look very nice at all. This is also this is matching up with what we've done up here as well, isn't it? It's just kind of matches up well, I think. Need some stronger black in here after. We'll do that after. So yeah, the bright pink and the blue is giving a nice sort of lilac key colour, which is what we want really. The pores get much lighter up here, but that's going to be, it's going to be really blue. Blue, black and white. We'll just put the blue in, get a silvery, silvery look. Much better than grey. Just over the side of the pencil. So even though you're doing this over, you've still got all the colours underneath. So you're, you're actually blending, but you still you're not taking away all the colours you've done. You can just add to them after. And it's a bit, bit more hairy there. And this must come straight there. That's a very important bit there. Must come straight. There. That's it. And then again, up here. some blue under here. It's not so lilac. Well, it's actually, it is, on, it is lilac, but we'll just do this for now. So yeah, just go over that yellow bit there as well.
isn't dark, see? There's a dark mark in there. And then that yellow is a bit brownie looking. It's not. too much. I'll try and keep that back looking like hairs. I'll just quickly put these little black, that's grey, or black. Little black bits and then we'll finish that. Break that up, that's it. Just break it up like that. Just over like that. So nice black hairs in there and yellow. A few nice colours in there, just no break, just break it up a bit. Up that way, there. And then blue. Through those. Go over those because they're too bright. Don't get it on the white, his white throne. We've got to go we use that. So just break it up. Get these stripes. Darker. And the patch here. This little patch here. That's a bit.
and throw over those bits there because they're not white. Just go up into that bit there. Make it a bit bitier on the edge. And then that's going up here. A bit of pink in there. needs to be a bit hairier here, see? Like that, just coming out there. And then this is just marking that. That's going to be grey out there. I'll go over that with grey actually. Grey and blue. to mark this edge it needs to be strongly marked but not with a line you just need to see that's where that's where this paw is going and this is where the hairs are behind and this is the dark bit that's going across here and then we've got a nice dark bit in there. Yeah, for now. Okay, we should stop that. I'd rather be editing all night. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll just have a look at it tomorrow and see how it looks. And uh, those reactions are always. Uh, a good indication of whether it looks alright or not. You just never really know. Just go with it and then have a look the next day. And um, hope you like what you produce. Okay, bye for now then. Mm.